Hello everyone. I hope you had a fantastic and a successful week. I'd like to know how your week went. Did you achieve those chapter goals? Were you able to complete those many MCQs? What problems did you face? R write in the comments so that we can rectify these problems, these challenges before we start with our next week goal. I read a quote in one of the book recently and the quote says that you will never always be motivated. So you have to learn to be disciplined. Apt, right? Very bhari note. You're not always motivated. You see something, you hear something, you listen to somebody's success story and you get all hyped and all pumped up. But how long does that motivation last? Not too long, right? Just like an electron. You know, it gets some, ex it gets some energy from somewhere, it gets all excited, it leaves its own shell and go to the excited state. But how long does that last for the electron? Just for a few time, just for a short time, and then it comes back to its original ground state. Same thing with us. We are hyped and motivated for some time, maybe a week, but after that we come back to our own lazy self, don't we? So the best way to avoid this is to be self-disciplined. You do not like to study early in the morning, but you have to do it. You're forced to do it. You do not like to learn physics, but you still have to do that. Your friends are playing and resting and, you know, having a good time, but you are at home studying and slogging and working hard. You have to do it because our goal, the goal that we want requires these many steps. So self-discipline is important. You have to push yourself, motivate yourself, keep talking positive self-talks. All of this will take us more closer to our desired goal. The reward that you'll get at the end because of this delayed gratification is going to be much, much more pleasurable and joyful than these everyday small rewards and happiness. So without much ado, keeping all of these points in mind, let's go check our second week plan. So these are the chapters for week two. In bio, we have these three chapters from human physiology section again. As I said, human physiology is important. It comprises 20% of the entire NEET syllabus. So human physiology is your do or die chapter. You should know this chapter very, very thoroughly. Uh, let's say each of these sections comprises around three to two questions of your entire NEET question. So each one is important here. Chemistry, we have two chapters again, periodic table and periodic periodicity and hydrogen hydrogen is a small chapter small easy chapter we can say there's one question coming from this periodic table is important to understand uh, the concepts of this chapter it's important conceptually it can come uh, you, we can expect two questions from this chapter this chapter is conceptually important for chapters like s p d and f block elements so again important one Physics, physics, current electricity. Uh, this is an interesting and an easy chapter. Interesting and easy chapter. Again, another do or die chapter. This is 8% of your entire physics portion, which is like four question. Yeah. So these six chapters are your target for week two. So here's a daily plan for week two. Uh, like you can see bio, I have divided into two days. So same chapter for two days, here we have neural control, here we have chemical control. So on all of these days, we're going to read the entire bio chapter in one hour. Yeah, we're going to read the entire chapter and as you're reading, make sure you underline the important concepts because we will revisit these concepts again. Chemistry, like you can see, I have divided them in three days. We have hydrogen here, we have hydrogen here and we have hydrogen here. All of these three days we will be doing certain concepts like for day one we will focus on uh, hydrogen, the position, dihydrogen properties, preparation. In the second day we will be doing water, we will be doing dihydrides, uh, hydrides. In the third day we will be doing hydrogen peroxide, heavy water, dihydrogen as a fuel. Similarly even for periodicity we will be dividing it into three, uh, three divisions. Current electricity, like you can see, just like the last week, physics we are dividing into six parts. So, Peladin Pe, maybe Ohm's law we'll do. Second day, we'll do Wheatstone Bridge, Potentiometer. Then here, maybe Kirchhoff's law and uh, Meter Bridge. I have divided all the concepts in six parts. So, one hour 
in reading of Kim, only the concepts that we have allotted for that week, for that day, one hour in reading physics, only the concepts that we have allotted for that particular day. So three hours you are spending in reading. And just like the last week, 50 MCQs we'll be doing from bio, 40 from chem, 40 MCQs for chem and 10 MCQs we will be doing from physics. You can do MCQ from any MCQ book, the MTG, Arihant, Target, whatever book you have. 50 MCQs of bio you're doing from that particular chapter, 40 from the concept that's allotted for that day, 10 for the concept allotted for that particular day. Again, here we will be allotting 5 hours, not more. And the remaining 1 hour of the day we will be using to revisit the concepts, to study some important diagrams, to study some important formulas. Yeah, we will retrospect how we have spent our entire day in studying and revisit important concepts. This is the plan for all the six days. Entire detail of what has to be done will be mentioned in the description box. So make sure you see that and don't miss the details there. Now in the seventh day, what I want you to do, what I want you to do for day seven is revisit, read the entire chapters, the list of entire chapters that we had for the first week. See, it's e we, you can easily forget what you have done because again, you are doing new chapters every week. We need to keep the information in mind registered and the best way to do that is space repetition. Repetition is a good way of remembering. So we're going to do that on the seventh day. We will read everything that was allotted on the first week. So whatever you have underlined, the formulas, the reactions, just go through them. Just go through them once again. And that we'll do on day seven. On day seven, you'll also take the test. You'll again go through the readings of this particular week, what we had read, what we had underlined. Okay. So this is basically how the plan is going to be. In week three, we will increase the number of MCQs, we'll increase the number of chapters. But for week two, again, six chapters, 100 MCQs every day and nine hours of studying. Cool. So good luck and we'll meet again in the next video.